hey guys welcome back to design pattern tutorial series so I have already covered the creational design patterns and I'm covering behavioral design patterns so my last video was about the chain of responsibility design pattern which is a behavioral design pattern so I will provide the link for all those videos in the description of this video so this video is about the observer design pattern which is a very famous design pattern and it is used in many places so I will discuss the introduction with the real world example then I will implement this using Eclipse so let's get started so introduction says observer design pattern is an behavioral design pattern using observer design pattern we can notify object state when it changes to the dependent objects so it means when any expected update happen to any entity then that update will be notified automatically to the entities which are waiting for the update okay so this design pattern is very helpful for the application like public subscribe broadcasting and real-time information system so let's check a example here let's say we have an e-commerce e application which have n number of clients and a new product is added to this applications it it is not added it the other clients want that particular product but they don't want they don't know when that product is going to be added so they always request to the e-commerce application about the product if it is available or not not so, so the server will say oh it's not available it will be available sometime will uh, respond you back when it will be available so again other client will send the request again and again so that will be a load on the server side so definitely to avoid this we need some um, design approach so observer design pattern is very helpful in that scenario so what will be the solution is using observer design pattern we will register all the clients which is looking for that particular product and then we'll notify them all when the product is available so that's a one example of the scenario so we can use observer design patterns like if you see the publish subscribe model when we have a broadcasting applications and then we need to send message to n number of the uh, clients a uh, JMS message so we can register all the clients into the uh, JMS server and then we can broadcast it so using this design pattern we can do that okay so let's check the implementations how we can implement this so to implement this we must have a concrete implementation we should have an interface where we have we must have a add client and delete client methods and we should have a notify method so we generally need these three methods where we will add the clients or we can delete them or third is to notify them so here I have created a implementation class where I have implemented this interface so I am overriding these methods so this should be at the server side we should have this implementation at the server side and for this example we must have the clients and for other example uh, it f let's say for this public subscribe model we must have a JMS message so here I have created a product class so in the product class I I'm having the product name and cost so let's do the implementation in product observer class we need to create a list to register all the clients so let's say we have a list of clients should be a new array list and here we can add a client so we can use the add method here we can pass the client okay so yeah, it should be clients let's change the name yeah, it should be client 
so in the delete method we can remove them okay so let's say we have can use the remove method and then in the notify method we need to notify all the clients so we can iterate them and notify them okay so we can use stream for that okay so here if you see the client class here in the client class we have a product which we want to notify from the server side and we have a available flag so we can make this flag as a true into notify method so let's do that set type level we can say true so our implementation is done we have registered all the clients we have add client and delete client method and we have a notify also so let's create a test class where we can test this so in the test class we need to create the client so let's say we have a server test class okay so here let's create some clients so here we have a product which we want to add to the client so let's give a name and here we need to give the cost okay so should be big decimal yep so let's add some more clients so as per the diagram we have six clients so let's add all six okay so now we can create a observer equal to equal to new product observer okay so so let's add all the clients into the observer so let's add client first same way we can add all six clients so we have third four five six okay so now we can notify them all so this we can use the notify method here notify clients okay, it should be notify notify clients so yep our cl test class is done so this will notify all the clients and it will set the flag as true but in the notify clients we are just setting the flag but in the real time we need to send a message to the other application we need to send it as a http request we need to pass the product and we need to pass the flag uh, so so using this type of the design uh, we can implement such requirements where we have broadcast message or we have publish subscribe model so that's all for this video in my next video i will discuss about our de next design pattern so thanks for watching see you next video bye bye